What's up everyone, Andrew Bainer here, and on today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new for 2021 Sterling JP150. This is the variation with a spalted maple top and DiMarzio Crunch Lab and Liquifier pickups. Of course, I'm gonna talk more about the specs, my opinion on the instrument, and all of that good stuff very soon. But first and foremost, I always like to show you how this guitar sounds in a full demo mix. So I have this guitar currently tuned to drop B, and I'm gonna be playing a section of a song called The Mara Effect Part One by my friends over in Spirit Box. This is how the guitar sounds like in a full demo mix. Okay, so now that you've heard what this guitar sounds like in a full demo mix, of course, we're gonna talk about the specs of this instrument. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is the JP150D. The D stands for DiMarzio. It has DiMarzio Crunch Lab and Liquifier pickups. For the first time ever, this also comes in a beautiful spalted maple top finish, which is what I have here. This one is the blood orange burst finish, which looks like a crazy volcano, and I absolutely love it. In addition to that, it has a roasted maple neck and headstock. It has an ebony fretboard, locking tuners, and it also features Sterling's modern tremolo bridge. So this isn't a Floyd or something like that. It is actually made specifically for these guitars by Sterling but it still feels very solid and responsive. As for electronics, it's nothing too crazy. It has a three-way pickup selector, so bridge, both, or neck, and it also has a push-push switch on the tone knob, which gives you a 12 decibel boost, which is great for leads or cleans, depending on what you're using it for. And last but not least, it of course also has stainless steel frets, which is super cool because it means those frets are gonna last a very, very long time. So that pretty much does it for the specs on this instrument. I actually have really been enjoying playing this one. I've owned a couple of Sterlings over the course of my life, including a JP60 and a JP70, which are the kind of lower end models of these, which basically means they don't have um, the DiMarzio pickups. And there were also older models from probably like 2015, 2014, around there. And I am honestly super blown away with how much Sterling has improved their quality since then. Not that they were bad back then, but I felt like when I had the JP60 and the JP70, it very much felt like I was getting something that looked like a Music Man, but it did not feel or play like a Music Man. Whereas with these new models, they definitely blur that line a little bit more. Of course, they are a little bit more expensive, but I think this is very, very close to the full-blown music model, and I personally am very happy with it. I think this one is definitely a keeper for my collection. I always try really hard with these videos to find flaws to point out just to make you guys aware of them, but I really, really cannot find any on this one. There are no sharp fret ends. There's no areas in the finish that look shoddy or no damage that came with the guitar. Everything feels incredibly solid. The bridge works exactly like how you'd expect it to. It's very responsive. It's got locking tuners, which is always a plus. Love the roasted maple neck and that it has a 
satin finish, not gloss, always a huge plus. Yeah, I just, I really couldn't find anything to complain about with this guitar, which is a very good problem to have. I think two of my favorite things about this guitar are number one, the pickups. The Crunch Lab and Liquifier combo has been around for so long and I've had it in other guitars over the course of my life. My first seven string that I had, I dropped this combo in there and I absolutely loved it back then. And I gotta be honest with you guys, it still sounds great almost 10 years later. So it was really nice to try these pickups again because it's been a little while and they sound just as good as I remember them sounding. And the other thing that's honestly my favorite thing about it, I know some people don't care about aesthetics, but I really care about aesthetics and this guitar looks absolutely beautiful. Like the detail on this top is pretty stunning for a veneer from an import model guitar. Again, these are made in Indonesia and they are not the full bone Music Man models, but like, come on, look at that. How can you not like that? It's spalted and flamed. Like it's got double, double the, the classiness to it. I love it, it looks so cool. So the only other thing that I really have to talk about here is to show you guys what it sounds like soloed. So I know some of you like the full mix and some of you wanna hear how the guitar actually sounds by itself. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna go back over that intro song, at least in a couple of sections, and I'll show you the guitars by themselves so you can hear how they sound. Okay, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you are interested in learning more about the Sterling by Music Man JP150, go check out the link in the description or in the pinned comment below. I wanna give a massive thank you to Sterling for sending this guitar over to me. It's always a pleasure working with the team over there. Shout out to Jacob. This guitar is awesome, and like I said, this is gonna be a keeper for a very long time. Absolutely love it. Super fun to play in drop B. That's really all I gotta say. Nothing but praise this time around. Last thing I gotta mention, of course, is a massive thank you to all my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. If you are interested in audio downloads, stems, or a shout out on the screen, you can find all of that over on my Patreon page, depending on which tier you choose. So go check it out if that interests you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, go check out all the links in the description and the pinned comment. I'll see you next time.